Now, I'll start this video straight to the point. I cannot comprehend how abysmal air support is. My vision of functioning support is when you can call a representative, get answered 5 minutes later, maybe 10 at the latest, and actually have your questions answered. Air, however, has a different vision in mind. Firstly, I must address that I do realize that COVID-19 is affecting the capabilities of their support, but it should still be functioning, as it states nothing about any differences in work times and work capability on their website. First point that I must address before getting onto the juicy stuff is, their modems are absolute garbage. They use the cheapest rubbish Huawei has laying around in their warehouses and brands them as air and disperses them to the Irish masses. Now, I do realize they have switched to ZyXL for their latest one, but I doubt it's much better. Secondly, their support is absolutely amazing, and if you haven't noticed, that's sarcasm. Their live chat is just straight up dead, even if you think about it, their support staff could just answer the questions at home. Then, if you try to call the support, you're either going to get a whole load of nothing or get through and get hung up on. I tried to contact their live chat support to ask them about my broadband's fair usage limit usage, and as their very well functioning website states that I've used 3 amounts of data, so they decided to be generous and let me pick which one I want to believe. Turns out the live chat feature is unavailable, so I resort to calling them. So I got on the phone and waited a whopping 20 minutes to get through to support. Once I do get through, I explain my situation and while I was asking them to check my actual real data usage figures, they hang up. Last time I checked, the definition of support was helping someone, but Air decided to rewrite the dictionary. The next day, I try again. This time, I see that the live chat function isn't grayed out, so I decide to give it a go. 30 minutes later, nothing. I decide to go out and go back in, though the icon is now grayed out. If the live chat was never functioning ever, then why make it not grayed out in the first place? I get frustrated and forget about it for a few days. A few days pass and I decide to give it another go. I go on their website, get their phone number, called them and, you guessed it, got a hold and hold of nothing. I waited there on hold for 30 minutes listening to their horrific music for absolutely nothing. The figures that I was complaining about were that it said on the front my air page that I've used a whopping 4 terabytes, which is 3 terabytes over the fair usage limit. Then I go into the historic usage tab, and on the graph it says I've used a way more reasonable 180 gigabytes. Now, here's the best bit. Air's data measuring recorded that in 10 days, I used, wait for it, 187 terabytes of data. I know you would probably want to know how we managed to do that, and to be truly honest, so do we. How broken do your diagnostic systems have to be to show three different figures for one topic? Now yes. We have messed about a tiny bit with the modem, putting it into bridge mode and making our newly acquired ASUS router our preferable internet distributing device. Personally, I don't see how that would break the diagnostics so bad. Even if I had used up the maximum amount my broadband could handle, I would have used up 9.5 terabytes. As you may have noticed, that is nowhere near the amount air claims we have used. Assuming their figures were correct, I would single-handedly have the fastest home broadband on the planet. So, long story short, Air support is non-existent, their website is broken, and so is their diagnostic system. Just don't get air.